up you guys welcome back to the channel welcome to my close friend's story this vlog comes highly requested i've done a few of these in the past and you guys love them where i basically just act as though this camera you guys are on my close friend's story and i'm just being a little extra real i feel like i'm very authentic in my videos but i like to make them aesthetically pleasing I like to have nice montages and put you guys in a feel-good mood. These are also supposed to put you in a feel-good mood, but just like a little different way. This is a little bit more raw, a little unhemmed jean, you know? Today's Thursday. Last night, Ryan and I, pretty much last minute, went to the Zac Bryan concert at Barclays Center. It was so fun. I got reached out to by his team the day before, and they offered us VIP tickets, which was the coolest thing we got to go to like this bud light backstage area where like his band was i think he walked through there too but we like wanted to get to our seats so we didn't see him but our seats were amazing and i just feel so grateful like i'm so glad that i'm known as the country girly here in the city now like that's so cool i'm not like that i'm known but like that they reached out knowing that i like that genre of music i don't know i was excited okay ryan stepped over he just left we got home last night. We're so obsessed with Curb Your Enthusiasm, you guys. So we, that's our new thing. We come home, we watch Curb, in your, bleh, Curb Your Enthusiasm and eat food. Speaking of eating food. Oh, first of all, let's give a moment for the fit. I mean, come on, it's so good. I have these little Bomba slipper socks, but they're so comfy. Anyway, speaking of food. <laughs> Last night we were like, we usually get like a slice of pizza because that's so New York of us. But, oh my gosh, my literal hair extensions just chilling here. Their little VIP pass, all very cool. I also went rogue <laughs> and I went and got Ryan and I drinks at one point and I bought us both hats. I came back with hats because one of his songs is called Godspeed. And I just, I'm a hoe for a trucker hat, so. Well, I'll keep the hat on too while we chat. Um, anyways, we ordered from a diner last night and it was brec I got like a whole breakfast food moment and I was like eating it and I was kind of, I was full. So I said, I'm gonna save the second half for the morning because I know I'm gonna want breakfast. I just got like eggs, potatoes and bacon and it came with toast. So I'm a lucky girl this morning. I <laughs> you guys are probably so disgusted, but you know what? I am disgusting sometimes. What's that TikTok sound? And I'm okay with that. That's me today. So I'm going to eat this. I have had a very, very busy, very packed last three weeks. And today's my first semi-chill day. Or it is chill, today is chill. And I'm really thankful for that. I do have therapy today and, but tonight, tonight you guys, we are doing two concerts back to back. Are you ready for this? We are going to see the one and only Drake. I'm so excited. He announced he was doing a tour. Well, first of all, I thought he was like done with touring. He literally said he like was having medical issues. I think it was like stomach problems. And he was like, I'm done touring for a while. And then announces a tour with J. Cole. So me and my best friend from high school, like we loved Drake and J. Cole. And we were like, we have to go to this. It's literally in UBS arena, which is on Long Island, I believe. So it's a little bit further. It's not even that far though. And we're like, we have to go. So we got tickets months ago. And then now they've moved the date like three times. Thankfully, every time they've moved the concert date, we've all been able to go, which is a blessing. Cause I was like, there's no way. Then he canceled. So no more J. Cole tonight. And then it was Lil Wayne. And now no more Lil Wayne tonight. So now I'm pretty sure it's just Drake. But I checked the set list cause that's what I do. And the set list has changed. If you guys know, last summer I went to Drake two nights in a row and it was the best two nights of my life. And I was just prepared to relive it again. But the set list has changed because I forget, since then he has dropped another album, a ton of singles. And I, the set list is so good. And I'm happy because a lot of the set list is actually throwbacks, which for me, I know the new and the old, but my friends, I feel like they're gonna really like the throwbacks. But he like added stuff from his new album. I'm just. Like, I think now he starts with Trophies, which is like an older song and it's so hype. Like, I just, I'm not like prepared. So I rented this top from Pickle. It's like a House of CB corset. Whenever I think of a Drake concert outfit, I just go for like a corset with like baggy pants. That's kind of my vibe. Oh God, these are everywhere. So that's tonight and I'm so excited. I'm going with Caitlin Morgan and my friend Jenna. So. I'm so excited. I'm excited to take you guys along this weekend. Let's see how my food's doing. I'm actually so hungry. Why am I hungrier when I, like, when I eat late at night, why am I so hungry in the morning? 
that's what I don't understand. But if I eat at like 7 p.m., I wake up, I'm not as hungry. I, I don't really understand it. I'm watching Love is Blind. I am so late to the game. I'm fully aware. And it's so funny because I feel like I know everything that's happened. But it's still entertaining to watch. And like when I hear about it on podcasts or people talking about it, I couldn't remember who was who. So I don't know. I find I find Chelsea and Jimmy. This is just the most interesting relationship to me. It's time for Element. We have a big night tonight, you guys. So we're going with Element. This is my all-time favorite flavor. I just got four more boxes of this because it's my favorite flavor. Um, it's called Citrus Salt. It tastes so good. I bring this when I travel. I throw it in my bag. I if I'm feeling dehydrated or if I had a little too much to drink the night before, this is my buddy. And I like Element because it's not just for athletes. It's literally for everyone. And I just love how easy it is. It's just in your little pack. I've gotten so many of my friends on Element, including Brooke. It tastes so good. There's seriously like a flavor for everybody. Like I said, my favorite is citrus salt. I also really like grapefruit. What else do I like? I mean, I really will drink any of them. The watermelon one is really good. It actually tastes like watermelon. It's really important to replenish your electrolytes after you work out or after you've been out drinking. Clearly, I see a difference because if the vlog is sponsored or not, your girl is drinking Element. I love this stuff so, so much. And I just love the taste too. So I look forward to the taste, which is a plus. Ugh, it just tastes like I'm about to have a good day. As always, if you go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn, you get a free sample pack with any purchase. So get the flavor that you think you're interested in, and then you'll also get a free sample pack with all the flavors for you to try. So if it were me, I would get the citrus salt and then go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn, and you get the free sample pack, and you can try all the flavors, and maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe there's another one you like. Um, but I, I would say citrus salt is my favorite. But again, this deal is only available with my link, so go to drinklmnt.com slash Danielle Carolyn. And thank you so much, Element, for sponsoring this video. I always am so honored to work with them because I literally love Element so much. So I'm gonna keep drinking my Element and resume Love is Blind. This is so crazy. I'm editing a thumbnail right now and watching. Guys, Chelsea and Trevor just met. Like, I forgot that like he was obsessed with her and loved her. And she liked him too, but ended up going with Jimmy. And she's like, you guys are probably like, this is so late. But I'm like, she goes, is that Trevor? She's like, he's normally my type. And then Jess just walked in. This is like, I get it. This is good television. I'm getting with the program now. Mid therapy and our call timed out. So I'm just waiting for her to send another link. But just here. So today's a fun therapy because I didn't have like, I just had like random little things to chat about. And that's the beauty of having a therapist because they'll listen to you talk about anything. They literally have to and she's the best. And she was like, do you remember I told you I'm retiring? I'm like, yes, I remember. But I'm just gonna soak up every minute with her. Okay, she just sent me the new link, gotta go. Therapy's done. I love it. I never think I have anything to talk about. And then I certainly had so many talking points and she's so helpful. Sometimes it's just like I need her to help me understand why I think a certain way. And then when she helps me understand that, then I feel better about it and I can kind of, I don't know if compartmentalize is the right word, but then I know, okay, you're feeling like this because of this and that's okay. So yeah, I haven't had a day like this in so long where I like still haven't showered. I'm disgusting. I honestly haven't brushed my teeth today, which my friends call it, um, like if you haven't brushed your teeth, you feel sweaters on your teeth, like a sweater. So I have sweaters on my teeth right now. Like when they just feel like, I'm sorry, that's gross. I brushed my teeth, but I did not this morning and I'm like feeling it. Um, I'm hungry and I have no groceries. I feel like just, a s you know what? No, sometimes you have to allow yourself to be lazy because I haven't had weekends to be lazy because I've been gone on the weekends. So it's okay, but I'm hungry and I have no food. What? The beverages are out of control. I got a smoothie a little bit ago, liquid death. Obviously drank my element and then just regular water. <laughs> this is too much. And a liquid death from yesterday over there because they have sparkling <laughs> love. I was on therapy and I was like, I am not cracking open a beer by the way. She was like, it's okay, whatever you need to do. I was like, no, it really isn't. This just really scared me. It looks like, like a wig. Like it looks like, you know, those hats with like hair. That just really scared me. Um, I need to get my life together. It's a mess in here. All right, 
I am gonna start the set list and just do a quick cleaning because it needs to happen. I also transparently still haven't unpacked from LA. I've been slowly unpacking as I've been needing things, but maybe I'll make a dent in that now. Actually, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I made my bed though. That's pretty good. So supposedly this is the song he starts off with. Gotta switch it to the speaker. concert hasn't even started my new obsession if you live in new york i don't know if this is elsewhere i feel like it's just new york i look so good carrot express so many great i'd say pretty healthy options what did i get i actually oh i got the um it's like their healthy fried rice it's cauliflower fried rice with chicken so i think that's a healthy alternative because i'm like Definitely, like I had some drinks last night. Like I'm kind of needing like this kind of food. And Carrot Express, they have like breakfast wraps. Like I can't believe I'm just discovering them. So let's give this cauliflower fried rice a go. Mmm, mmm. There's peas, there's corn. I added chicken for some protein and it is, this is really good. I see some real rice in here too. I think they must combine it. That's funny. Okay, I just showered and put on just a little outfit. This is not what I'm wearing to Drake. I just laid out my outfit for Drake. But I'm going to the dry bar because we gotta look our best. And I love the dry bar. Dr. Dennis peel pads. These are my literal favorite thing ever. I actually just posted my makeup routine as a reel and TikTok. So you guys can go over there. I like show every single product. I write it out on the screen too. And I also linked it on my LTK. I've been having fun with reels and TikTok. So um, definitely go check out there. But yeah, so I'm just starting my makeup because my appointment's at 5.15. We have to leave at seven. I already washed my hair. I like to wash my hair with my own products if I can and then have them just blow it out. So I'm usually only there for like 20 minutes, but I just never really know. Um, I, feel like I have mascara from last night on still. Cause I've been using this hourglass like tubing mascara. It really is just, well, I don't know if it's tubing actually. It's like an extent, like you still think you have extensions. Anyways, I'm gonna like start my makeup, go get the blowout, come back, finish it. I also wanna go get some shooters to have in the car. We uh, decided to hire a driver for this because the drive is like gonna be almost an hour long and then he'll just be there to pick us up and we're all splitting it, it's perfect. So but yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna get a couple shooters. I'm gonna bring some mom waters. Have a night, maybe. Um, I'm filming AM Uncovered tomorrow with Bridget and Danielle. So I need to prep for that a little too. Anyways, I'm gonna start my makeup. I ended up just doing a full face of makeup. That's just fine because honestly, then I can come back and just change and be ready. Now we're gonna go to dry bar. I'm gonna get my hair blown out for the weekend. It's, I always just get the straight up with rounded ends, a little volume. Let's go. Okay y'all, it's happening. I put on the top, hair is done. It's like raining, so I'm just nervous as soon as I step outside. Well, I, I walked here from the dry bar and then I literally had to fix it because of the rain. And I literally can't decide if I want it flipped out or in. Part of me wishes, like, should I put in my extensions really quick and have it be like a long moment, but I can't lie. It's easier to dance without them in. Like it just, it's not as uncomfortable. And I'm, I don't think I'm really taking photos tonight. Like, I mean, maybe I'll take some, but like, that's not the idea. Um, the idea though, is that I wanna be glowy. So I'm gonna use this Kopari Firming Body Serum. So I feel like it gives this nice glow. And I, anything that's called firming, I'm like, sure, let's do it. Um, I just got off the phone with my mom. She was just in Mexico. She's been a travel, she's been a gal on the go. So we were catching on, this is my tennis injury. <laughs> 
I fell diving for the ball. Tennis is no joke. Like you've gotta be running around, left, right, up, down. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have to listen to more Drake now, but. I just went to the liquor store. I was on FaceTime with my friend Seb and I was like, can I get two Fireball and two Absolute? Cause they didn't have Grey Goose shooters, which would have been clutch. And she was like, I feel like I'm watching an unfiltered vlog. I'm like, funny you should say that. I'm filming a close friend's vlog. So here's the outfit on. Top is House of CB. I think it's really cute. And then pants are Urban Outfitters. And then I already showed you guys the accessories I will be putting on, some silver earrings. It's simple, but effective. Um, and then the jacket too. Hopefully the jacket looks good. I'm so excited. Take a shot every time I say excited. This is the bag I'm gonna bring, I think. It's a little, I recently got this on the Shop Bop sale. It's a little Stodd moon bag, but it's silver. I love, love an outfit sandwich. So I love tying in the accessories. I think I'm gonna put on these earrings. Drinking a LaCroix, but I might pop open a mom water here soon. It's almost time. Hold on. <laughs> so I went rogue and I put in the, the extensions and I just feel a lot better. I mean, do they blend perfectly? Perhaps not. Like if I move my hair like that, but like it'll be dark in there is what I'm telling myself. And I just feel 10 times more confident. So it had to happen. Inches. Yeah, we're all ready. I'm gonna wear this jacket. Morgan asked to borrow a bomber. She was like, I was gonna wear a blazer, but it's kind of giving like I'm going to dinner. I was like, no, you're not going to dinner, you're going to drink. So I'm wearing her this black bomber. And like I said, I'm gonna use this purse. And I am so excited. The evening is finally here. It's beginning, let's do it. We are here now. And it's a little chilly. It's not raining. We are so <laughs> we are so I'm excited. excited. <laughs> I am so excited I could cry. It was like an hour drive. I am so excited. Um, it, yeah, our driver was a little scary. But we're so excited now. Yeah. It was a little bit of stop and go, and I was like, sir, don't worry. We're not in a rush. But we kind of are. But we are, but we don't put our lives at risk. Hey. Oh my god, I'm so cold. <laughs> First time at UBS Arena. Very nice, and I'm so excited. And A, other than the smokiness. Yeah, there's a lot of like smelly smells, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. Oh wow, this is nice. It's giving airport. It is. Wait, are we still, we're, so our tickets, I guess, warrant us uh, access to the Dime Club. So we're trying it's to find the Dime snacks. Club, but, but now the sign doesn't say Dime Club. Yeah. Do you notice that? <laughs> Ooh. Found it! So, time for food and drink. This is nice. Guys, they literally have Spritz Society here, my favorite. It's crazy. Where are we? I'm so excited! Okay. <laughs> Dark was just on stage. Drake's next. I don't really know how to contain myself. And Kit Keenan just told me she got me a ticket for tomorrow night. So now I'm going two nights in a row.
guys. I had so much fun. Like, that was the best night ever. He's so good. <laughs> it's just so fun because he doesn't... He does, like, most of each song, but he'll, like, switch it so fast. Like, he'll be doing one song after another. Like, literally, the girls I was with, they were like, another... Like, oh. And he changed it from last year, so now it's, like this epic marching band moment. There's bleachers, it looks like a football field, and you guys know I love that shit. Oh my God, it was so good. And then I get a text from Kit Keenan last time, and it made my entire life, because she responded to my story, and was like, so hyped, I'm going tomorrow. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I, I was like, I wanna go tomorrow night too. And I was like, maybe I could convince Ryan to go. And she, all of a sudden she texts me and goes, I got you a ticket for tomorrow. This is our Super Bowl. I'm so excited. I'm like, what? What do you mean you got me a ticket? And I guess she got these tickets through UBS Arena. And she's like, I texted my girly, get ready. And I'm like, what? Is this confirmed? She's like, yes. Danielle, we must. It's a must. And you'll know the whole track list. Let's fucking go. Going to be the best girls night. No, I'm not. Okay. So I'm going again tomorrow tonight. Ugh. I can't lie. I left it all out on the, I was going to say on the dance floor in the arena so i'm gonna have to run it back and like wake up i had so much fun i look so bad but we have an exciting morning i'm headed over to danielle and bridget's apartment and we're filming an am uncovered with the, both of them if you guys don't know they're twins one works corporate one's a content creator and i'm really excited to see their morning routines together they are so close and so they're just the best so I'm excited to see how their mornings kind of mesh together. And yeah, so I need to look a little more presentable. I just ordered Uber Eats. <laughs> I ordered Chick-fil-A breakfast. I'm just really acting as though I'm in college this week. I don't know what's going on with me. But it's okay. I'm like, I'm in my 20s. Oh, let me have some fun. Richard's almost here with my chicken minis. I need to get up and shower. I also realized I never had coffee yesterday. Anyways, I need to get up. I didn't end up getting merch, so maybe I'll get merch tonight. I need this right now. While my coffee is brewing, let's do a quick little check here. What fun top should I wear? I have this one that I love. It's like a latex top. It's very Drake coated, I feel. I wore this to the national championship in LA. What else do I got? Whew. I mean, I have got this for Stagecoach Mimi. Howdy. I obviously have the classic like black corset top. Both of these are from the brand Meow. Great brand for like fun tops. Um, so... I don't know. Oh, I forgot about this guy. It's like a silver top. <laughs> There's gotta be something between those three. Oh, and I also have this one. I mean, I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. But it's so sunny outside, you guys. Sealed with care. I haven't had Chick-fil-A breakfast in a minute, so let me be. Hash browns, of course. This is so nostalgic. I'm just like being a college kid this week. I don't know what's going on. This is what I would get in college. And chicken minis. Ah, I think it'll be good to get up and get out because the girls live in Tribeca, so maybe I'll just walk back and enjoy. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear today. And I kind of want to put in my extensions because they both have beautiful long hair. So I need to eat this kind of fast and then get ready. Hair and makeup is done. Packing my bag, um, cause I think after I record with Danielle and Bridget, I'm gonna meet up with Rye Guy. I've never called him that. And uh, go to lunch or something. It sounds, apparently it's like windy outside, but it's really sunny and pretty. These sunglasses are amazing. They're from Amazon. How cute. So this is the fit. Oh wait, no, this is not the fit. Hold on. Now this is the fit. I think I'm gonna, oh, I am going to wear a coat over top as well. Blazers from Dish. Just doing jeans. I just got these from Abercrombie. Bottega bag. Orium belt. Let's go uncover Bridget and Danielle's morning. That was 
so fun. We have so many outtakes from that one because there's like three of us. And I almost want to see if we could like, I want to post the outtakes because they are so funny. Um, we had the best time. I think you guys are going to really like that episode. Um, Ryan and his sister, I think, are nearby at a restaurant. So I'm going to join them for lunch. The sun feels so good. I'm glad I just got up and at him. I'm definitely tired, but we move. A beautiful sunny day in the city. Walking around with Ryan and his sister. <laughs> came across an acapella group. This is so cute. We're back now. I wanna check how many steps I walked today. We walked all the way from Tribeca um, back to my apartment, but we went to Washington Square Park. Stafford. Well, we got din uh, blah, 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 blah. lunch at Anejo, Anejo in Tribeca, very good tacos. And then walked through, I was with Ryan and his sister. And then I was like starting to get work emails. So I scooted out. I think they're still hanging out a bit. And I realized I have to meet Ruby and Kid at a train station at 6.15 and 3.30. So I was like, let me have a little resting time. But what was I showing you guys on my phone? Oh, I wanted to see how many steps I walked today. Cause I'm glad it felt good to get some activity in and we sat in the park. I literally, only 6,000 steps. I mean, not only, that's a lot. I feel like I'll hit 10,000 by tonight cause we're taking the train to the concert and we're taking a car back, but I'll walk to the subway. I'm like, how can I get all these steps in? Yeah, we sat in Washington Square Park and it was so nice. There are just so many fun characters there. So much to watch. Um, and I literally took off my blazer and my jacket at one point. And we were um, vibing in the sunshine, so that felt nice, and now I'm hot. I can't believe I'm seeing Drake again tonight. And I think we're in a box tonight. I'm getting more and more info, and I think some other gals will be there too, Jazz and Hallie, perhaps, I'm not so sure. Immediately took all my makeup off. I don't know what it is. I just don't like to have my makeup on throughout the day if I don't have to, like I'd rather redo it. Um, I bought these snail mucin masks from the brand Cost RX off Amazon. Kelly brought them when we went on vacation, and they felt so good. <laughs> So I'm gonna put one on. Now I feel like my face could use some revamp and I'm gonna play my deep focus playlist and get some work done. Ooh, that just fell in the sink. I don't love that. But I, I've been keeping these in the fridge. Whenever I vlog, I like hunch down. I don't know why. So I'm like trying to get in the frame, I guess. Um, ooh, Ugh. I have to like ignore the fact this is snail. I like these because they actually stick to your face. I hate when face masks like sheet masks just slide around. This one actually sticks to your face. Like it'll stay on for a long time. I don't know if it's cause it's just super gooey or what. And then I'll take my jade roller and sit on the couch with it and just go to town. You guys already know the drill, making an element to prepare for tonight. And honestly, I need it after last night. Is this washed? <laughs> Story of my life. I'm like, this doesn't look right, but that's okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. We are back in the bathroom and I put in the extensions again because you know what? We're feeling it. I pulled together my outfit and I'm actually, I think I really like it. I um, just like Dyson air wrapped my hair and then I like pinned the front pieces with just little makeup clips, honestly, to kind of help hold. This side always turns out better. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this the opposite way, maybe. Like, look how good. I feel like Bridget, Bard style. Um, I like that. See, maybe that was the right thing to do, actually. I don't know though. This side is just having none of it. I like really can't be late because we're taking a train. Like I just like actually have to leave when I plan to leave. <sighs> Me sad. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do about this side. Cause this side's so good. I guess I can just pull it out a little. Um, yeah, so 
about to head out. I'm just gonna touch this one more time. Okay, well, that arguably made it worse. All right, I'm gonna pin this guy up a little bit longer, but like until right before I leave. Let me show you guys, oh, it's just not. Let me show you guys my fit. How fun! I haven't worn these pants in so long. I mean, obviously this is not a Western concert, but I feel like it's still the vibe. These are from a Goldie. I got them last year or two years ago now. Bodysuit I've had forever. I actually don't even know where it's from, but it's a nice low back. Need to figure out shoes ASAP. Like boots would look the cutest with this, but sneakers were so ideal last night. And then I guess I'll just go with like, Am I gonna be cold if I just wear my black leather jacket? But I feel like that's the move. I gave Morgan my bomber jacket, so she has that now. Did some layering of necklaces. I'm just seeing what this jacket looks like. Am I gonna be miserable in just this jacket? I feel like it's cute though. It's a lot of leather. I have no idea. Um, earrings, we'll go with these. Switch it up from last night so I don't wear the exact same earrings I wore. Um, even though I probably just should, whatever. And yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, I honestly have to go. So I'll just vlog on the go. You guys will see it all come together. So we're on the train. Thank God for Ruby and Kit because I really didn't know where to go, what to do, and they waited for me here with Carly. I just showed up and was here. <laughs> Thank so God for Carly. Wait, show your shirt. She disappeared. At least I'm not boring. <laughs> so I'm so excited. We're gonna have a night. Here we are. Thank you so much. We're back like we never left, baby. Yeah. Go has the doors. Ruby with the sunglasses is sending me. You know, I've been doing this since I'm a little kid. Ruby's like, I know this place like the back of my hand. I wear all of the city sunglasses at night. Long Island too. Yeah, we're on Long Island. On Long Island, I've learned. Not in. Whatever. On. Oh right, on. We're on Long Island. God forbid. No. <laughs> I'm so excited guys look at the football field no, I just like and that's gonna be a like a whole marching band moment I'm sorry I'll stop being annoying Wait, I feel that's, like that's, that's annoying crazy. <laughs> I, I literally just Wait, yep Danielle, was the DJ the zoomed in finger yeah Love. baby <laughs> stunning <laughs> Smoking a drink enhances the flavor of a uh, Getting the pics. So good. Photos, photos, photos. We're hyped. We're getting ready. Carly's got her rosemary. She's feeling herself. I'm feeling it. Hey, close friends. Hey, close friends. Welcome to the vlog. Um, Carly's going to entertain you while I wash my hands. We just took shots and we're waiting for Daddy Drake to come. <laughs> no, no, no. I realized Lil Dirk went off stage and I was like, Carly, that means he's not yeah. here. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting like this. No, please. <laughs> please, sir. I'm so excited. I please, can't. just give me a little prompt of the songs. <laughs> oh, we have such a good group. Like, Daddy! Yeah, I love the energy. I literally was scared of Oh, I'm one drink in. I feel so many. I feel a lot of. Yeah. Yeah, because I made Carly drink <laughs> shot of vodka, which I feel like most people yeah. prefer. If you like tequila, you prefer a shot of tequila. And no, I don't. I brought Carly a shot of absolute vodka. Because, like, I'm both. No, you are a switch hitter. I'm a switch hitter. I like that. Yeah, you're a switch hitter. I can only do vodka. Did you obviously dance move? Yeah. I was not expecting that in the slide. Okay, I'm like, I hope I'm recording. That would really be sad if I didn't get that on film. I really hope you do that the whole concert. <laughs> He's Drake is like waiting for it. Like Drake is, he like knows I'm gonna do it. Guys, I DM Drake just now and I said hey. <laughs> because I maybe, hope you have a great show, sweetie. Yeah, I know. So you guys know that story. I I said <laughs> that I said hey, great show tonight. Like in 2018. So it's fine. But we'll be good. Have a great show tonight. Have a great show. <laughs> what they're saying is Drake is about to go on. Oh, not okay. Right now is the phase to rally together. Shift the momentum in this building. I don't want to be repetitive, but I just want to make a
host in New York. If you're proud to be from New York, this is for you. Make some fucking noise for yourself and let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. I'm gonna take a shower now. Okay. Hi guys. I just showered. I put lotion all over my body. Did skincare. I gave Ryan a little skincare moment too. He came over last night after the concert, which was nice. Um, I had the best time. It was such a great group of girls too. Ryan and I's breakfast is here. <laughs> He just left. Um, so we're all this away now. I think I need to treat today like a Sunday. Today's Saturday. Um, I'm just like so sad I'm not seeing Drake tonight, you know? But it's fine. I am really so grateful I got to go for a second night. It was just as fun. And he actually did, like he didn't do Search and Rescue the first night. And then the second night he did do that song. Um, and UBS Arena is just so nice. But um, yeah, I had like loose plans with people to go to brunch or something today. And I'm like, no, I mean, it's already almost two o'clock. So, and tomorrow I'm going to Long Island for a couple nights to stay with my aunt. We usually spend Easter together. So I'm going, I'm taking the train tomorrow, uh, which is good. Cause I got good practice on the Long Island Railroad yesterday. I've taken the train a couple times to the Hamptons, but it's been a minute and I was like, I need a refresher. So I'm glad I honestly did it yesterday. So I could kind of, remember what to do. So I have to look at train times for tomorrow. She'll pick me up and then we're going somewhere. I'm not vlogging, I'm not gonna vlog that, but we're gonna go to this place on Long Island called Farm Italy, I think. She was really excited, she got the reservation. And I'm gonna stay with her for two nights um, and have some, some time together. But yeah, so I'm gonna call Delaney cause I'm having Delaney withdrawals. I feel like I haven't seen her in so long and we're like maybe supposed to hang out today, but I'm also like, my apartment is a mess. I'm gonna get my life together. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna call Delaney while I get my life together. Guys, I'm going through my videos from last night. What did I think I was doing? <laughs> I like set up the camera. Like, what was I doing? Wholesome starts now. We're cleaning. bit of an update um i was dermaplaning and it was like a fresh one and it just scraped my chin i it, it's not that big it's like a little one but i had to keep holding it with a paper towel so and i really have so much to still do around my apartment so i just put a band-aid i'll take it off in a little but um yeah <laughs> woo and then i just refilled my supplements for the week and i got a new toaster because my other one honestly kept messing up and breaking. So I got this Smeg one. I was in between getting a silver, this chrome or a white, and I just love chrome. So we, I just put that out. Sure. Guys, I'm on a, it's like not even a three way call. I'm on FaceTime with Delaney on my computer. Ryan's on the phone and we started out with dinner and ice cream and now we've decided we want to go to David Buster's. Cause why not? Cause why not? It's like the perfect, because it's supposed to rain. We were gonna do this whole thing where we got pizza in West Village, walked 45 minutes to Cold Stone, the only one in the city, because Ryan really wanted it. And I mean, I, I wanted to. And then I was like, oh my God, Dave and Buster's is right next to Cold Stone. And then we were all like, should we go to Dave and Buster's? And it's perfect, because it's gonna be rainy. And like, if we did that 45 minute walk in the rain, that just wouldn't be fun. So, I mean, I just wanna make sure like, it's not full, you know what I mean? Like if they already have all the tickets bought for the day. I don't think it's, I think it's, you buy like tokens or. Oh, okay. Cause it says reservation, unless that's for food maybe. Oh, maybe that's I'm just checking. double checking. We're doing this. We're going to Dave and Buster's. Here's the little fit. We're doing no makeup. All the vibes. Um, gonna be comfy. 
and I packed for my trip to Long Island and unpacked for Miami and LA, which took hours. Not actually, but I'm just dramatic. I'm really happy that that's done and I'm so excited for a little night. Just like that, we're in Times Square. Always something going on. Guys, look at Delaney repping. You're giving tours right now. <laughs> I love it. Also, she got a haircut. I got some Show the bangs. I'm so Delaney, like, I am freaking out. Your hair is just so bouncy. I know, it's so much healthier too. They it looks like so four good. Inches of really? Oh my gosh. Okay, first stop is pizza. Little Italy. Little Italy. Wow, there are so many options. I don't even know what I want. Got the za. Got the soda. Happy. I'm so excited. Ready to play. One game where you don't win points on. Um, so we're in the store picking out our prizes. Ooh, men's facial set. Oh, 2400. Quick dry towel. Eye massager. Vanity. Oh! Oh, that's cool. I don't have enough points for that, but that's cool. You could just put it on your mirror. Not today. Sensational putty. What is that supposed to do? Is it like stress reliever? 50,000 points to get the ember mug. Doorbell. Wait, I think I'm gonna get the toilet nightlight. Or what's the difference? Oh my God, a French fry holder. That's epic. Workout dice. I think I'm gonna go with this. And now we're at McDonald's just to end the night. <laughs> Why not? Water is on deck. We just all wanted some french fries. And they got, is your ice cream in there? No. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Me so happy. <laughs> I know, I didn't get one, it's just you and Delaney. Dave and Buster's Hall. 850 points for both of the, or no. Wait, that's so weird, he said I had 100 points left. Oh yeah, that makes sense, this was probably 50 points. I want to set this up. I'm so excited to have a little nightlight in my toilet. It's so funny because like I spent $60 on tickets tonight and like this probably doesn't even cost $60, you know, but you go for the games. It doesn't cost $60, but that's so funny. And then I got one of these for the nostalgia of it all. Sticky hands. Ryan said to be careful because it can stick to ceilings. Yeah. Ooh. Should I try to hit the lens? Ooh. I feel like Spider-Man. Um, that's a wrap for this vlog, you guys. Tomorrow's Easter, I'm gonna wake up, go to Pilates. Ryan's actually gonna go to St. Patrick's Cathedral with his sister for mass. Try. They're gonna try. Do you, can, you can't get tickets? No, not. You need tickets for some, but not all the shows. Oh, so you're gonna wait in line and hope? Yeah. That's exciting. Um, I'm gonna go to Pilates in the morning and then, Take the train, the LIRR, to see my aunt. Um, I love you guys, and thanks for watching this close friends vlog style story situation. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>